Should you buy Brooks Launch 10 or Nike Winflow 10? Let's have a look and see which one is best. Right, so let's get into our specs. So first up, they both have a 10 mil drop. The launch has the DNA midsole and the Winflow has the Nike Air cushioning. The launch is the lighter shoe at 235 grams, whereas the Winflow is quite heavy coming in at 281 grams. The Winflow is a medium cushion shoe, whereas the launch is ranked on the lower end of Brooks cushioning scale. Both of these shoes are neutral support shoes. Both of these shoes are size eight. However, the launch, does come in a little bit snug, whereas the Winflow fits a lot better. The Winflow comes in a crazy nine colors, which seem to rotate all the time. So it's potluck up with colors on these, whereas the launch only comes in two colors. The launch is hundred pound, whereas the Winflow is 98 pounds, so a massive two pound difference there. However, you can find these on sale all the time. There's always an offer for the Winflows, and sometimes they're as low as 70 pounds. So always try and look for a deal on these. Right, so which shoe is better? Well, let's break it down and go through all the categories. First off, we'll start with the cushioning. And for the cushioning, I'm gonna give the points straight to the Winflow. Now, neither of these shoes has bad cushioning. They're both pretty good. However, the Winflow is just a little bit plusher underfoot. I think that cushion lasts a little bit longer on a really long run. It feels a little bit smoother. If you're gonna push the distance, I do think that the Winflow feels slightly nicer underfoot. The launch isn't bad, however, it just is a little bit lower cushion. It does come down to the fact that the Winflow is a medium and the launch is a low cushion shoe, and that is just enough to edge it for the Winflow. So then, responsiveness. I think the launch is a faster shoe, however, I think the Winflow actually gives you more return because it's got a little bit of a spongier feel to it. I think it sends more back. You get a lot of ground feel with the launch, but that's not necessarily responsiveness from the shoe. Whereas the Winflow does sort of kick back a little bit. There is something in there that just springs you along. So for responsiveness, I'm definitely gonna say that the Winflow takes the point. So upper comfort. This one is a super close call, but I'm gonna give the point to the launch because I think it just hugs your foot a little bit better. It's just a bit nicer. I do think that the launch feels a little bit cheap for the materials, especially compared to the Winflow, that the materials do feel quite premium. However, just once you get it on the foot and get it right, I do think that the launch is more comfortable. The upper is very comfortable on the launch, so I think that just massively edges it over the wind flow. Okay, so onto the toe box. So weirdly, the launch looks like it's slightly bigger, but once you put it on, I don't think it is. I do think that the wind flow has slightly more room in the toe box. I think it's a little bit better shape. I think basically up towards the end here, it's a little bit wider, whereas the launch is wider lower down so I think that gives you a little bit more room in the toes you can also just move your toes around a little bit and that really helps with that ground feel I know that the launch has more ground feel and feels really good however the toe box of the wind flow does add to that ground feel and the toe box is better on the wind flow Okay, so on to lockdown. So it's another one that is super close, especially if you're talking about the midfoot lockdown. So the midfoot lockdown everywhere across here on both of these shoes feels absolutely amazing. They lock you down so well. However, the wind flow is gonna lose here because around the collar of the wind flow, when you lace it up and tighten it, it goes a little bit weird at times. And sometimes it doesn't really lock you down in the collar and round the heel whereas the launch just locks you down everywhere perfectly. I absolutely love this heel. I think the collar is really comfy. It's got the flat tongue and I think that helps with the lockdown as well. I just think this shoe locks you in so well and it's why I think it's a faster shoe. It's lightweight, it's quick, it's just great. I really, really like it. So for me, the point for lockdown is definitely going to go to the launch town. So then on to the laces. So the laces on the launch feel super cheap. So I said about the materials feeling a little bit cheap and the laces is really where you notice it. The wind flow, the laces feel quite good. 
However, they just don't bind sometimes. They do seem to come undone, which is a bit annoying. The launches laces are a little bit short. However, they bind, they work, they feel cheap, they're a little bit short, but they never come undone. Whereas the wind flow, every now and then, they slip undone. So the launch is gonna take the point. Okay, cool, now we're onto the traction of these shoes. And both have really good traction. I've taken them out in the wet, in the dry, I've taken them on the road, I've taken them on trails, I've taken them on the grass, wet, grassy fields. I've done absolutely loads in both of these shoes and the traction on both of them is incredible. I can't really tell the difference, so I'm gonna give both of these a point for traction because I think both of them are just really good. I can't really separate them. So breathability, both of them, again, really good. They're functional. They're not the most breathable shoe ever. However, they are really functional and they do work. It's been quite hot recently around here and I've run in both of them and to be honest, I haven't had any problems. I can't really distinguish between the two because they're both really functional for the breathability. They allow enough airflow around the foot. Neither one of them is really crazy special for breathability, but neither of them are bad either. So they're both gonna get a point. Okay, on to durability. So I have run slightly more miles in the wind flow, but that's only because I've had it for longer. And if you look at both of them, they're both in really good condition. Just great shoes. They don't seem to, to be dying at all. It's absolutely great. So I mean, the wind flow's probably got close to 300 miles on it, and I'd say the launch has about 220, 250 miles on it and both of them just feel great. There's nothing wrong with either of them. They're gonna last five to 600 miles each, maybe more if I took more care of them. But yeah, there's nothing really wrong with either shoe. They're both extremely durable. They're both gonna have to take a point. It's six all and we're actually gonna have to have a decision here and it's all gonna come down to the looks and I think that's really unfortunate for Nike because I think they make really ugly shoes. <laughs> I just think they're like horrible, don't they? I mean, it's so subjective, so this category kind of doesn't count. It's more a bit of a fun. I don't love the color of the Brooks. It's very bright. However, I do think the shoe itself just looks better, whereas the wind flow just looks a little bit naff, doesn't it? So yeah, for me, the launch is gonna take it. It's gonna take that final point on looks and it's gonna win. So which shoe would you buy? Well, it is so close and you can't really go wrong with either shoe they are both absolutely great for the price now if price is your main focus search for a deal on the wind flow because if you can get this down at sort of 75 70 pounds it's well worth it it's one of those things where they're both a really good shoe but if you can get this one for cheaper just go for it if you want to race in the shoe I'd go with the launch even if you found the deal, if you're going, right, I want a shoe that I can use for everything and race in, I would definitely go launch because it's lightweight and it just feels quicker. The wind flow can do everything. You can do your intervals, but I just wouldn't use it on race day because it just doesn't feel like that type of shoe, whereas the launch does. If you just need a general everyday shoe, either of these is gonna be absolutely fine. Personally, I would buy the wind flow again because I have other shoes for race day. I have shoes that will take on what this excels at, whereas both of them do everything else just as well as each other, so I'd get the wind flow because it's a little bit cheaper. Now, if you want to see either of those shoes put up against this, the Nike Pegasus 40, then click one of these videos here to see both of those videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please chuck them in the comments below. And if you think I've earned it, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.